Um, a solar eclipse will be visible across most of the area in just one week, and we're preparing a special two hour show. You can watch that live on WWL Plus starting at 12:30 next Monday. We'll break down the eclipse as it all happens. But how do we even know when an eclipse is going to happen? Alexa Trisler spoke with NASA experts about how they are predicted and when we'll see one next. This is like one of the really exciting things that you can go see. You the April 8th solar eclipse will be special for millions of people in North America. Even though total solar eclipses happen every 18 months or so, it is rare when it passes over where you live, considering the Earth is so vast and made mostly of ocean. So how do we know when they will happen and more importantly, where? It's pretty complex, but in actuality, it starts with some of the concepts that we all learned in school, you know, it, it's about gravity and geometry. That's Camille Shaw, a division chief with NASA's Stennis Space Center. She says it's all about those math and science equations. It gets pretty complicated. Astronomers take in the mechanics of how the Earth and Moon orbit the Sun. They input their shapes and sizes, where they're located, and with the help of Newton's laws of motion, they feed all this data into complex equations that are run on a computer. That's how they tell us where and when they happen, hundreds of years in the past and future. It is awesome! Ancient cultures were also onto something. Besides thinking eclipses often meant apocalypse and bad tidings, many knew they were coming thanks to the Saros series and cycle. They were able to figure out that eclipses happen in patterns that were predicted without the help of modern technology, which of course nowadays makes things a lot easier. They recorded when the eclipse happened over time. And so that means that our scientists and mathematicians today can use that data to make sure that their models are actually accurate. With the moon blocking 80% of the sun in New Orleans on April 8th, a lot can happen. Temperatures can drop a few degrees depending on cloud cover and humidity. Shaw says it'll be something spectacular everyone should try and see safely. It gets cooler and um, you might hear like chirping and the kind of things that happen at dusk, you know, in the middle of the day. The next total solar eclipse in the United States is in 2044, but only North Dakota and Montana will see it. In 2045, another will happen, passing from coast to coast. New Orleans will see 90% coverage of the sun in 2045.